no, just really big bone. Ragdoll cats are the biggest around. In fact, some males have tipped the scales at 35 pounds. Friendly cats? Absolutely. In fact, ragdolls are called puppy cats because they love to follow their owners from room to room. They're kind of puppy-like and right behind your heels. Calm and relaxed, this cat is perfectly named a ragdoll. It has its name for a propensity to become very limp when you pick it up. So how did these cats get here? In 1963, a California breeder mixed a feral white angora with a few other long-haired breeds that had Siamese-style points. What developed was the lovable ragdoll. They're known for lying on the floor with legs akimbo and just completely relaxing. So what makes these cats special? They're giant. They're big kitties. The ragdoll can be three times the size of other cats. These felines are large-boned and strong, with wide chests and big hindquarters. Next up are their killer blue eyes. The ragdoll has intense blue eyes that are an oval shape. Cats who are white, who have blue eyes, or have one blue eye, are often deaf on the side of their head that has the blue eye. And did you know that cats see six times better than humans at night? The ragdoll is famous for their coat, fluffy and easy to care for. They almost feel like a rabbit when you pet them. And ragdolls are pointed, which means their face, legs, ears and tail are darker than the rest of the body. But the most lovable quality is their calm personality. The ragdoll is a super cat. I mean, uh, a little quiet, you know, sort of just beautiful and there. And well-bred ragdolls like Matilda have very few health issues. However, have your vet check regularly for heart disease, which can occur. And grooming is easy. They have a relatively short coat. So does a ragdoll make a good family pet? They do. Playful for most of their lives, they love children and usually get along well with other pets. They're very affectionate and they'd probably be a really good first-time cat. So in general, ragdoll cats don't have too many health problems. Grooming is pretty simple, a little brushing every few days, and they do make wonderful family pets. All I can say is if you're ever in New York, stop in to see Matilda at the Ogawa.